Hey everybody, this is Arathos, and welcome to Final Theory. So, this is a game that slipped under my radar, and it's really weird that it skipped under my radar, because I tend to try to keep a really sharp eye out for any space strategy games, because I absolutely adore them. And as far as I can tell, this is kind of a light 4x in that you are trying to conquer the galaxy like you do in a normal 4x game but instead of collecting resources and building up individual colonies your fleets get bigger and your tech goes up depending on which star systems i believe you capture so yeah at least that's as far that's what i could tell from the steam page either way though game looks gorgeous so far and i am looking forward to giving this a try so without further ado uh, collect 6,000 data fragments and launch final theory to win the game. All players receive a few advantages. Collect 4,500 data fragments and launch final theory to win the game. Garrisons are easier to clear. The Emperor's Navy is less active. AI players are less aggressive. Recom recommended for most players. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with the Red Fleet. Blue is also the one I'm considering. Let's go with red. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. <laughs> Due to the continuing decline in technium production, the Empire has declared the Outer Rim territories a lost cause. Okay. Entire territories, huh? Without this vital resource, millions of colonies will be cut off from space and inevitably regress to a more primitive state of being. Aha. That sounds familiar. The Empire considers such systems as dead space, only deemed valuable as potential sites to harvest the stars for Tacnium. Okay, okay. Every quadrant of the galaxy is preparing for civil war, desperate to sustain their way of life by any means necessary. So what does Tacnium do exactly? The archives speak of an old research project conducted at the height of the Empire's prosperity. Okay. A weapon capable of harvesting all the stars at the center of the galaxy. Enough tachnium for eons to come. A weapon like that sounds dangerous. Obtaining this research data has now become the last hope for the colonies. The name of this project was... Final Theory, maybe? Final Theory. Yeah, that's what they said at the beginning. That's why I figured it said that whoever launches Final Theory and collects, what, 9,000 bits? Research bits? Something like that? Also, the combat in this game, as far as I'm aware, is turn-based. Hex-based. Turn-based. Oh, that looks cool. I'm excited. Okay. Now I'm confused. Welcome to the Final Theory Map Guide. Choose a topic from the list below or click Next to start from the very beginning. From the map view, you can command your navy, build and deploy ships, engage enemy fleets in combat, and upgrade your navy. To begin with, your dominion consists of three regions with one station in each region. These stations are two star ports and one enrichment station. Okay, I have no idea what an enrichment station is. I'm assuming the thing that harvests tachnium. Let's take a look at the map UI. At the top of the screen, you'll see the info bar and the upgrade bar. These show resources you have available for use in each ship class you have unlocked. Say what now? So the info bar, okay. Those are my tachnium reserves. Oh, and these are the ships. Okay, destroyers and frigates. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I don't see ship classes listed up there. That's what those are. The numbers displayed on each ship icon show what level or mark that class has been upgraded to. The ship icons can also be clicked to enter the upgrade view for each ship class, but that's a separate topic. Click on any region within your domain at the bottom left. Okay, let's, let's go here. At the bottom left of the screen, you'll see the info panel. Okay. Shows local information about the currently selected region. It's only visible if you have a region selected. Okay. Depending on what's currently in the region, what's known about the region, it shows information to fleet stations, as well as any resources and harvesters. Okay, this is a little bit more complicated than I thought based on the Steam page, but that's a good thing. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see the action bar. The action bar shows all your available actions. I have a thousand. Is that... No, it's Tachnium. So, action bar? 
fleet deploy max navy size okay the bottom row of the action bar oh, okay shows fleet actions this whole thing's the action bar and okay gotcha at the bottom of the right of the screen, you'll see the standings panel. Show standings between the four dominions. The dominion influence section shows the relative size of each dominion. The military power section shows the combined military power. The research progress section shows how close each dominion is to completing the final theory. Coming up next, deploying ships, the good stuff. Let's, de let's try deploying a few ships from your ship reserves. To begin with, your dominion consists of three regions with one station each region. These stations are two starports. Yeah, we, you told us this. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see the deploy ship bar. The numbers displayed on each icon show how many ships have been built and are ready for deployment. These are your ship reserves. Oh, okay, I got four of each. Click on a region that has a star fleet and a star port and no fleet. Uh, here. Then click on the ship you want to deploy. Click again to deploy a second ship to the same fleet. Uh. Note that you can only deploy ships to regions that have a starport. Each starport in your dominion increases the max number of fleets you can have deployed. If you lose all starports, you will no longer be able to re reinforce your navy. Let's try moving one of your fleets. Can I make it stronger? Okay, click move fleet. Click on a nearby region to move your fleet to that region. No, you can only move one fleet each turn regardless of how many fleets you have deployed. Is that mine now? That easy? If you move a fleet to a region that is defended by either defended by either deployed or garrisoned enemy units, you will be engaging the fleet in combat. Garrisoned enemy fleets do not move as they are protecting points of interest such as star ports or garret resources. While exploring the map, you will come across garrisons ranging from level 1 to 3. Higher level garrisons are more heavily defended and yield greater rewards. If you move a fleet into a region occupied by one of your own fleets, then the two fleets will merge. You can only merge fleets if the total number of ships is within your max fleet size limit. Harvesting Tacnium, okay. <laughs> now let's take a look at the Tacnium. Click on the region that has an enrichment station. I'm assuming that's what that is. Okay. Bottom left of your screen displays local information, such as fleet stations and resources. Okay. Global, gotcha. Harvesting. Uh, let's deploy a harvester. Note that harvesters can only deploy in regions that have a tacnium deposit. Each such region can hold a maximum of four harvesters. You can deploy one harvester every two turns. Oh, okay. The ship also has an enrichment station. These stations increase your max fleet size limit by plus one and produce enriched tacnium, uh, which accumulates at the end of each turn. Enriched tacnium is used to deploy tacnium warheads. These warheads are absolutely devastating and have the ability to create a new tacnium depot. Oh, that's cool. Note that warheads must be fired from a fleet and can target any re nearby region, including regions within your, own, within your own dominion. They will destroy everything within the targeted region, including stations. Less cool. Click on a region that has a star port. How about you? Building a new ship will always take three turns to complete regardless of ship class. The amount of tacnium needed to build a ship increases with larger ships. All right. Notice the construct ship button has changed its name to either construct frigate or destroyer. This is because each starport only builds ship of a specific ship class as indicated by the starport map icon. Oh, okay. So destroyer frigates uh, why wouldn't we want a destroyer because it's expensive now click on the other region that has a star port and click the construct ship button gotcha once a ship is collected it will count among your ship reserves and await deployment your ship reserves can be seen at the bottom of the screen let's take a look at the upgrade view oh lordy Oh, that is pretty, though. Click on any of the ship. Okay, note the upgrade views global and does not require you to select any spe specific ship class, uh, ship fleet, or whatever. Whatever, you know what I'm saying. 
Any changes made in the upgrade view immediately apply to all ships. Note that you have entered the upgrade view. Notice that two extra buttons appeared to the left of the upgrade bar. Yup. Module development and ship engineering. In the upgrade view, you can see ship stats and abilities, buy ships, or module upgrades. You'll have prioritized points between shield, armor, and weapons power. Points can be redistributed as often as you like, but changes must be made before entering into combat. Specific amount needed engineering resources. Okay, these resources are produced by engineering stations and development stations within your dominion and accumulate at the end of each turn. But you gain the bulk of your resources by defeating enemy fleets in combat. Defeating large fleets it yields greater rewards, as you'd imagine. Okay, once you've familiarized yourself with everything, yep. Upgrade to Mark II. Micro jump drive, adjustments, points, okay. Shield boosters, oh lord, those are all fun resources, but I can't do any of it. Click the back to the map and click next for game objective. Let's look at the final theory, research project. The ultimate objective of the game is to end the war by finishing the project. To do so, you must collect all the data fragments needed and then launch the final theory warhead into the center of the galaxy. That just sounds like a bad idea. You can view how far along each dominion is by looking at the standings. Data fragments are collected after defeating enemy fleets. Once you have all the required fragments, you must make your way to the center of the galaxy and launch the final theory warhead. This marks the end of the map guide. Once you engage your first enemy fleet in combat, you can switch over to the combat guide and have a look. Good luck, Commander. Yeah, no, we, we finished this. Go away. Alrighty then. Uh, I can't do a damn thing. I mean, I feel like maybe... So, what's the max size of my fleets right now? Two ships. That is not a fleet. Uh, I feel like... No? No? I can construct one ship at a time. Would make sense. I don't know how I feel about being able to see their movements. Mm -hmm. I don't like you guys having like three fleets. I only have two fleets. How you doing this? 260, what's my fleet power? 180, yeah, no, that's not going to work at all. 180 there, it'd be a fair fight. Hmm. Let's take some stuff. Ooh, that was nice. Subspace Disruptor. Launch a subspace disruptor from the selected fleet to a nearby region. How do I build stations? Oh, I just get them? Oh, okay. So there is nothing here. There's no tachnium deposits. There's no research stations. Even though it does say... Except that doesn't work. Okay. Alright. Cool. Now I know what's going on. Alright. So you guys just, like, coincidentally taking stations that allow you to... That's four fleets, dude. That's unfair. Man, you guys are dicks. <laughs> Ooh. Tachnium deposit. Okay, okay. I don't know that I want to deploy a harvester there when I still have to... I still have this one. I want to get this one maxed out, then we'll worry about this one. Oh, I'll catch up. I may not. I don't know. <laughs> they can, At least they can only move one fleet at a time, regardless of everything else. Except now his fleets are bigger. That is concerning. Okay, what's over here? Station detected. Tachnium deposit, okay. No stations detected up here, though. But there was a station, this was Tachnium? 
Oh, the ones with the circles on them have stations. Okay, I should have noticed that earlier. Yep, move on over here. What'd we get? Engineering. Okay, we're getting tech. I can't be mad about getting tech. Oh, I already launched those ships. I need to keep building ships. So when can I start building the bigger ships? Are they already available? Oh, no. It's Since I can't build the stations, I gotta find them. Alright, then. Let's keep you guys making what you can make. Let's try to capture all these stations. Ooh, what'd we get? Destroyer. Construct Destroyer. I can now have another fleet. Can I deploy here? I have to deploy in a station. So. Kind of wish my I had found something that gave me a larger... Uh, what's it called? The subspace disruptor will keep things from moving. Okay, I can live with that. Kind of wish there was a hotkey to just end my turn. I think we're going to come into conflict with the blue guy first. He's coming straight at us. Or I'm heading straight for him, one or the other. Green guy is spreading evenly across the galaxy, it looks like. Tacnium? No tacnium. Uh, but there is tacnium up here. I'm gonna deploy a harvester. Okay. Build up our engineering skills. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of that mechanic in any game. I wish the com the AI's moves and territories were hidden. I like it being a surprise and not knowing when you're going to run into your next enemy when I play these types of games. Okay. I think I'm going to move you here. What we find? An enrichment station already. Ah. 
I think this is how the game limits unchecked expansion. You know, and the enemy hitting you way too early. Okay. However, I want to keep my fleets constantly growing. Can't deploy a harvester. Nor can I construct a ship, so I don't know why it's even telling me I can. I want to upgrade my frigate's shields, because I know everybody's upgrading... Probably upgrading shields, frankly. Man, I have not found a single station that lets me upgrade... ...to numerous fleets like the enemy has. Like, military power, I am struggling. This is gonna hurt. No tachnium deposits, okay. I'll keep deploying harvesters, it's fine. I also got a, oh, that has nothing, so. Yeah, I have another system, where is it? Right here that has tachnium. Like, in terms of finances, I'm doing all right. I just kind of wish I could have another fleet. Holy crap, the orange dude is spreading. I feel like the green dude ran into an obstacle. Ooh, what'd you give me? Okay, my, my, I can have a new fleet finally. Yes, cool. Because this place can construct, uh, what are they called? Uh, frigates. Can I deploy a fleet over here? No. Wait, what? What is my max fleet size? Oh, it's three now. Oh. Okay, I need to start reinforcing some ships. Oh, thank God for that. All right. Let's look at upgrading our destroyer. Uh, let's see, ship engineering. Yeah, let's do the micro jump drive, 15 adjustment points. Let's commission that. And I would like a rather balanced vessel for my destroyer Mark II. And can I just redistribute these whenever I want, or when I leave here, does that go away? Only one way to find out. Ooh, I kind of want to deal. I kind of want to get to my weapons upgrade. Okay. All right. Oh, that was ending my turn. Okay, cool. That looked like a much bigger vessel than anything I have. Okay. Uh, I cannot construct anything there. I should be able to shortly. I need you to move down here. Because I want you to come this way and start working your way through here. Uh, let's see. Can I put another harvester? I can indeed. Wow, the blue fleet is just having a field day. I feel like if they reach me, I am screwed. Okay, I'm seeing ship classes that are insane. I'm wondering if I'm missing something. I don't really want to mess with my Tachnium reserves too much. But we need fleets. 
Take it. Oh, what do we get? Another engineering station. Man, does this game want me to have engineering? Oh, we are almost about to meet up with the blue dude. And with the scale of those ships I'm seeing, I'm... I'm feeling like I'm, I'm getting a little screwed over in the station department. Me and the green dude. Like, how the hell do you have fleets like that? Can I upgrade a station? Like you, can you... Can you build me better destroyers? Uh, let's see. How about we move you further this way? Ah. No advancing without killing the enemy. Which I can do. And I feel I should. Okay, I don't know I can take that one or that one. But I can take these two. And I probably should. I mean, I don't know that's a great idea to be going to war with the Emperor, but that's what I'm going to do. And I want to see combat. I want to see how the battles work. And frankly, we are surrounded by a bunch of stations that are probably worth a whole lot. 300 versus 160. I feel like we should move this way, though. Order to engage the enemy. Confirm? Yes. Let's go. Show me how to fight. Welcome to the Final Theory Combat Guide. Okay, I'm just going to flip through this. Click on any one of your ships. Once you select the ship, you'll see the action bar. Click on any one of your ships to bring up the action bar. Uh, once you've selected a ship, you can hover your mouse. Okay, holding shift actually brings this up. I remember reading that at the beginning. This looks really cool, though. Look at that station in the bottom. Okay, they have two vessels. It looks like a frigate and... Oh, they don't, have, they don't look any different than mine. I mean, I guess we're all... You know, all the same species. We're all human. Yellow is movement. Blue is defensive. Orange is offensive. Red is an irreversible action. Click on any one of your ships. Okay. Click on this. All right. The yellow hexes that appear are hexes that are within your movement range. Note the direction your ship will end up facing is very important as it affects the area your weapons and abilities can cover. If more than one direction is available through different paths, you can indicate the direction you'd like to be facing by moving your cursor. Click on any one of your ships. Then click on an orange weapon. Ah, okay. And click next. Holding down the right mouse button. Can I zoom in and see my ship closer? I don't have anybody I can hit. Once you become familiar with your ships and their weapon, these targeting patterns and rages become second nature. In the beginning, it would be helpful to show the entire hex grid. Shift. Or permanently display them with H. I kind of want to leave H on. EMP weapons are effective against shields. Thermal weapons are quite effective against armor. Okay. Some ships will have the ability to heal the damaged shields. That would be a shield booster. Shield boosting only works while the shield is active. If the shield's already dropped due to damage taken, then shield boosting will have nothing. Once a shield drops, you'll have to wait several terms, turns for the shield generators to pop up. Some ships have the ability to heal armor and be done at any time. It does not require that the allied ship's shield is dropped. It's most advantageous to repair the she armor of a damaged allied ship whose shield is still active. Hangar bays. Some ships have a hangar bay, not ones I have. Although abilities like deploy corvette are classified as offensive abilities, they do, in fact, unlike weapon abilities, require the target hex to be unoccupied. Note that ships with hangar bays never need to have their ships replenished, and there's no limit as to how many ships can be repaired can be can be launched in total from a single hangar bay the only limiting factor is the preparation time of the ability 
Okay, that's it. Kill. Oh yeah, I can't use that. Main engines! Bring the fleet together. Alright. That is cool. I wish I could zoom in. Away, please. Nope, nope. I was hoping I'd be able to turn him around. All right, can you fire again? No. have to do standby on everything. Okay, I'll boost your shields. Oh, you ain't getting nowhere. You're trying to protect that thing. How about... Can I do the EM missiles now? Oh, I, I'm too, too close in to do the EM missiles. Okay. Let's try it. Uh, shield boost. Oh, I can't shield boost myself? Okay, fine. Let's fire away again. Kinetic guns. Oh, I'm enjoying the hell out of this already. Oh, that is a beautiful explosion. Hey, can you use a shield boost on this, please? I wish I could zoom in. I, I haven't seen any way to zoom in yet, though. Oh, you gonna pay. I like that the wreckage is there too, as like a um, obstacle. Fire them missiles. Fire those guns. And let him fire now. Ah. What's a micro jump drive do? Oh. It's just a warp jump. I mean, it's probably unnecessary to do that, but I think it looks cool. I mean, he got away. I can still hit you with missiles, man. And then pull up alongside. And broadside. That is, that is actually a broadside. Not a big one, but it is one. Oh, I like this game. Engineering and data fragments. Thank you for those. Also...
I want whatever you're sitting on. Oh, it's a pair of frigates. Let's not let anybody get ahead. You don't like my frigates. You need to stop messing around with my frigates. Okay, got to come around here. Yeah, stand by, dude. You can't do anything. And it's not his shields that are messed up. It's his armor, which he might not survive this. Yep, I lost him. Well, let's hope we find a star base. Like, hopefully that's where this is leading us. Does the enemy ever run, I wonder? And it does look like it's a good idea to get behind your enemy's firing arcs. Like, as you would imagine it would be. Like, I can't shoot him from behind. Okay, he just got right in front of me. going nowhere. I mean, he could still get behind me right now. Oh, man. That's not going to be able to hit him. Son of a... can't hit him with that, but I can hit him with some EM missiles. EMP missiles. Yeah, he's maneuvered it right into my blind spot. Oh. Not anymore, he's not. Got some forward guns here. I'm not a big fan of frigates. I don't know that I'm going to keep using uh, materials on them. Attack me on them. Yeah, he's really, really moving into my blind spot here. I don't think this will put him into my non-blind spot. Yeah, he's got better radius than I do. I mean, I would imagine that would be the way it would... Uh, make up for having less weapons and armor than my uh, than a f destroyer. So that would make sense. EMP guns. And finally, let's see what we get from this station. Bigger ships would be ideal. Cruiser, thank God for that. All right, construct a cruiser. Construct a destroyer, not gonna construct a frigate. Not gonna construct a frigate. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, tachnium, that's fine. 
we doing all right? Uh, Dominion influence, we're keeping pace. Research progress, we are not. I think what I need to do is I need to deploy a fleet over here and start hitting these stations. So that is what I am going to do. We have one cruiser we can deploy. And then... Destroyer, destroyer. I think I'm just gonna give it a full fleet of destroyers. We don't need we don't need to use our frigates. Uh, how is this system doing? Depleted. Thought we had multiple tachnium systems. Yeah, we do. Let's start working on this one. And turn. Yeah, that dude's got like battleships. Like, what is a rank four ship? I feel like I also need to. I'm glad I never upgraded my frigates. Because I feel like that might be a waste of effort. Ooh, I could upgrade. Ooh. Maybe we should upgrade the cruisers. Well, we have a lot more destroyers than cruisers. So I feel like the EM guns might be the way to go. Okay. Move you up here. I'm going to have you come over here and start like... I think I'm going to have him just go on a rampage through here. Also, this fleet right here can have another destroyer and when it gets a when a cruiser's ready he can have it all right so this game's pretty fun so far i'm actually thoroughly enjoying it uh i am actually also irritated at myself for having overlooked this game in the first place um but yeah let we i will work to rectify that now so but either way, like I said, I'm all out of time for today. So thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time for some more Final Theory, where hopefully we unlock some battleships. I don't even know what the classes are in this game. Uh, we have a cruiser here. There's a three star or three pip or whatever, which might be a battle cruiser maybe or a carrier. And then we have like battleships or dreadnoughts. I don't know. I'm sure it shows us at some point. It showed us at some point, but I missed it. Or I'm just not remembering because I'm actually quite tired right now. Either way, we'll see how that stuff goes next time. Thanks again for watching, guys.